Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're here with the lovely Jessica. Hey guys. For another episode of Boozy Memories, the Boozy Edition. Ooh, look at this, mm -hmm. summery. Deliciousness. Yes. What, are, what are we drinking today? So today we have a nice margarita, but then I like to sass it up with some Aperol. So now we have this nice sunset effect. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. So today Jess will be reviewing five of my favorite boozy fragrances. So if you want to know more about those, don't go away. Hellcat. So welcome back everyone. We can't do that with a straight face. <laughs> welcome back everyone. So as I mentioned, we're going to be discussing five of my boozy or favorite boozy fragrances. So Jess will be getting the first impressions and then the dry downs. I of love those. booze. She does love booze. We love I booze. Do. Yeah. You actually might like booze more than I do. A little bit. A little more. bit more. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Un poquito. Um, so we'll be, we have the, the dry downs. We've, they've been sprayed and drying down for about 45 minutes now. So before we actually get into the review, guys, as always, what should they do? Subscribe. And we always point this way. It's but this it, way. I think it's this like always way. this way. It's here. Well, it's, it's, it's over here. We're going to go with here. Yeah. Subscribe to my channel, guys. <laughs> for for for, please. So you can be uh, you know notified of any future videos and content by clicking the bell icon as well. So the first one out of my list, I know I have a pretty wide range of boozy fragrances, oh, but wow. these are these are the ones that I have in my collection. These are not the best ones in the world, just the ones that I own. So I think everything is boozy. You really do actually, yeah. you really do. So starting with the first one. Can I just say that I love this fragrance bottle. Mm -hmm. I love it. I think it's so cool. It is. I don't know. It's like modern, but like it's chic. I just love it. It's very chic. That's all I have to say so, thus far. Yeah. Here we go. All right. Give us your take. Here we go. Oh. Okay. I love the bottle. I'm okay. just gonna start with that. Okay. Okay. We're gonna start on positive vibe. Okay, but then we're gonna. What about the juice? Yeah. Uh, it's like, it's like too much vanilla. Is there vanilla in there? There is some vanilla in here. It's a lot of vanilla. This is a, so this is the, in my opinion, one of the most boozy fragrances ever. It's, it's like smelling like a casket of whiskey. It literally, yeah, it's yeah. like whiskey, but mixed with a little bit of Bailey's, like that, like that sweet, that sweet, vibe mm -hmm. with the whiskey yeah. you know what i mean yeah. i'm not a fan not a fan no so what out of 10 what do you give this one i hate this what no i just i hate the sweet we all know this about me i i'm not a sweet fan you guys that have been like seeing this i don't want to hate it because i like the bottle it's super cool but like but you don't love the sweetness no so what are you giving it out of 10? Okay. Like I Weirdo. maybe want to eat it. Out of 10 though. Let's, let's say out of 10. Um, uh, this is rough. I mean like if I, okay, it's, it's, it is getting a, li a little bit better. Like as I just, uh, I'm going to give it a six. Six out of 10. Yeah. Damn. I thought you'd be good over that. All right. I thought, no. I thought it'd be better than that. All I'm right. not a fan. Listen, you can't love them all, right? You can't. You, you can't. can't love them all. No. This is like, I feel like I'm on, what's that movie with that guy that only drinks white Russians? If you guys know what she's you talking about, comment down, comment down below. I don't know what she's talking about. I the Big know. Lebowski. Oh, just kidding. Don't comment. I feel like I'm that guy. You found like, you feel like, like you're- just walking around with white Russians. Okay. And right. it's like drunk on white Russian. So not not a not a love. No. Not a love. All right, listen. It happens. The next one <laughs> Cheers. is coming from before we, before we do that. You may need it. Mm -hmm. Yum. Ready? Okay. So the next one is coming from the house of Amouage, and this one is and I'll put the descriptions down below so you guys can see what this I one is. I it matters. Well. For me. It kind of matters. 
I mean, if you said it right now, I would have no idea. What happened to my bottle? Oh, here it is. This guy. This guy over here. Amateur. What, what is this, amateur hour? <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. Mm -hmm. We're going good on this one. What? Hmm? Huh? Nothing. Okay. Mm. What are you getting? What is your what is your what is your schnoz pick up? It's like it's, it stings the nostrils. I'll be honest with you, Kip. It actually smells like pure gasoline. It's really potent stuff. So the house of Amouage makes very very potent fragrances. There's bits of real panther. So you know it's good. So you know it's good. Um, this is <laughs> it's good. It's killing me, but it's good. Um, uh, this is like. It, why do I say spicy? I don't know. I don't know about spicy, but it's like got more like. I'm gonna go back to an old school saying. It's got chutzpah. It's got chutzpah. Yeah. Yeah. It's um, got edge, right? Yeah. It's got sex. It's like yeah. It's edgy. Mm -hmm. I have to say. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it reminds me of. This is a very unique fragrance, actually. I don't find any, I haven't found a fragrance like this that I've smelled that actually resembles I feel this. like you personally have to have some sort of sass to wear this. Well, you mean to pull it off? No, to like vibe with it. Like, oh. I feel like you could put it on and people could smell it and be like, yeah, it smells good. But like to really own this fragrance, I feel like you really, you personally have to have some sass. Yeah. Like You have, you have sass. Yeah. You got, ser you got serious ass. I got some serious ass. You got some ass. serious ass. So, for me, this would be great. Um, but not, I guess you could do, like, w would this be all year round? I'm not really, no. no. I don't think so either. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is like fall. Fall, winter? Yeah. She's getting the hang of it. She's, yeah. she's coming around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's getting it, yeah. But I just like, you could smell good in this if you don't have like a sassy personality, but I just, I feel like you really need it for but this. Do you think this can be worn in like a dress down, like it's just a casual t-shirt and shorts? I think it depends on your personality. Personally, I feel like I could wear it whenever. Yeah. Because I'm sassy. Right. And like, I don't give an F. You don't give an F. Don't give an F. So what are, what are we giving someone out of 10? I'm going with mm, an eight. Eight. Yeah. All right. It's good. It's a good but on the love. It's not my fave. But it's a, it's a good one. But it's, it's up one. there. It's, it's up it's there. Good. It's good. It's up there. It's good. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Here we go. Hopefully the next ones are gonna. We'll see. We'll see. Mm. Mm. Hey, real quick, guys. If you've smelled these two so far, the Amouage and the Nasamato, let me know what you guys think down below. Do you love them? Also, I want to make clear. This guy's opinion. Doesn't matter. I don't care. Doesn't matter. Don't care. Mm -mm. Our tastes are very different. Like I, I have, I have a very much. We have a completely different taste in fragrances. Yeah. Although, the new Roja we both love. So, all right. So, <laughs> sound like a. That's a different video. That's a whole different video. <laughs> all right. So this one is speaking of. Oh. This is coming from the house of. Coming from the house of Roja Dove. Mm. <clears throat> you right there? <clears throat> it's a mark. It's a margarita, guys. Put I put a little bit of spice in it. Yeah. All right. Here we go. We got. Oh, I just got a sweet potato smell. <laughs> I didn't even feel like we're cooking sweet potatoes. I don't know if that. Yum. Okay, I may sound biased right now just because I we all know that he loves Roja. I love Roja so I feel like I'm like really I'm it may sound like I'm like jumping on the bandwagon, but I'm really not. I'm really not. I will tell him that I hate certain what, ones you don't love, like Sheep or Extraordinary. Yeah, I love you don't love. Yeah. No. I will say it, but mm. this one is good. What are you picking up? What's that schnoz of yours picking up? Something sweet, something sexy. Well, there's like a tiny bit of whiskey smell to me, but I, I say that for like everything. You're absolutely so. right. You're totally right in this one. But this one, I'm right. This one, you're right. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I feel like I'm like in the distillery just smelling like a barrel. Mm. Um, I don't know, it brings me, I was just recently in Portugal before COVID, so, and I was at a whiskey distillery and I'm just like immediately brought to a dark room. Just. Dark to, room? Yeah, cause that's, distilleries are dark. Like what, whiskey, what? they keep the barrels and it's keep, like dark. Just, something you're not telling me over here? I mean, he wasn't there. No, I don't know. So. If you guys know what happened, let me know down below in the comments. <laughs> I don't know, this is, this is comforting. Um, it's a little more sweet than I would like. Okay. Uh, for me personally. However, it is really good. What do you, what do you think? I mean, it's, it's, it's a, like, I feel like he just had sex for the first time. <laughs> like every time he smelled, I mean, are you guys with me? Like, do you guys think that's true? I, I don't get that Roja? reaction. <laughs> do I, do I really look that way when I smell Roja? Is that true? It's uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't mean... It's uncomfortable for everyone involved. Awkward. Yeah. Okay, well, I fucking... Okay, I'm not going to tell you my experience in this one. You tell me what you think. I uh, mean, I already said it. Out of 10. So you, out like, of 10, what is this one? Oh. I still don't love it, but it's good. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give it an 8 as well. Because mm -hmm. it's not, like, over the top for okay. me. Okay. But it's good. You like it. Yeah, initially I felt like you were frying a sweet potato, and then when I brought it to my... Uh, like a lot of things just happened. So it, it develops quickly over your. And we also just saw your virginity last, so there was that. This is fun. Cheers. Let me find right now. This is fun. <laughs> I'm glad we're doing this. That's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you guys want to see her back again? <laughs> I wasn't there. <laughs> so the next one is going to come from the house of Michonne. This one is. You don't know. Don't know. Even if I told you the full name, you wouldn't know. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Mm. That's strong. Okay. Really strong. This is an extra de parfum for those of you who don't know Nishane. It's an it's in a house from Istanbul in, in Turkey, and it is a. There's um, a lot of things happening right there's now. There's a lot of things happening. I, I might have sprayed too much. That's my bad. Although, oh, hold on. I'm getting a very distinct smell with this. Not like the full thing, but like there's this like hint of some sort of food. Should I tell you? No, no. you should not tell me. Okay. Give me a second. Everyone give me, you guys are not in a rush for this video. Like I know you're not. We, we take longer yeah. for this video, guys. We, we know this video takes longer than other videos. You appreciate just, this. Just bear with us, guys. Just bear with us. <laughs> Okay, so I love Greece. I love everything Greek. I know you said this is Turkish, so that kind of goes with it. But like this kind of... You've been to Turkey. Yeah, but Turkish and Greek are very, very similar. Mm -hmm. This gives me mm -hmm. a smell that I've smelled in like a Greek cooking of some sort. Um, I want to say it's a spice that they use in this like Lacanico, which is like a Greek sausage. She's very worldly. <laughs> She's much more experienced than I am in the world of... Uh, I mean, I'm just getting this hint of this, like, Greek sausage. That's what she said. But with, like... No. Sorry. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> with, like, some sort of dessert afterwards. Like a Greek sausage mixed with, like, a baklava. Do, do you find it boozy? Well... I find everything boozy. I know. So what do you give this one out of 10? <laughs> I like it. Yeah? But I, I... Oh, this is tricky. I'm gonna give it a seven. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting, interesting, interesting. It goes like between Greek sausage and a sweet that I don't really like and I can't really put my finger on it because I'm like, I like it at first, but then I smell the sweet. So right. I just, I get thrown off. Right, okay. I don't like anything Turkish because I'm Greek, so. So. Well, I'm not really, but. You're not. You're, you're Jewish. Like, honorary. I worked at a Greek restaurant for long, so I was taught to hate the Turkish people, so. Sorry if you're Anyway, <laughs> moving on to the next one. <laughs> Awkward prejudice aside. 
So, uh, <laughs> just joking. The next one is going to come from the house of my Killian. And this one is... Sorry, Turks. <laughs> Hopefully there's no Turks watching this one. If you guys are, we love you. I do. We don't have any prejudice against you. I know. That's fair enough. It's me. the Greek people. Don't, don't come to They're our crazy. house. crazy. Don't come to our house. <laughs> we, don't, we don't have any hate. Ooh. Me and this house do not vibe. Mm -mm. So far. No. And this is one of my favorite houses. Top five. I don't like it. No? No. What are you getting? Oh. What? Hold on a second. Can you just give me this? This is no one cares what you think. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> what? What are you getting? don't like this house like what are you doing i don't care if you're gonna hate on me for this i know he's hating on me for this so i don't really care but mm -mm. what no. are you getting though tell the, to the listeners what you're what you're getting i'm just getting poop you're uh, getting poop it's like a sharp no it's not poop it's not poop i just it's like i am getting brought back to my day where i got insanely drunk off of SoCo and Lime in college. Oh yeah, I went straight SoCo right there. And I want to vomit. What do you guys think of this one? Have you gotten have you gotten that same kind of vibe like when you brought oh, back SoCo to, and Lime? Like, oh my It's super Ugh. it's super boozy. It's a very boozy one. That's straight college right there. I love this one in the winter. Oh my god. I actually no. wore this I actually wore this in one of our dates one time. I probably won. It's about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, out of ten, what do you give this one? Three. Three out of ten. Four. That's like the lowest score you've given us so far. Besides the, I don't. Besides it the diaper. brings. Besides, it's besides, so con lime. So con lime would literally kill me. I so I I'm gonna tell you a quick story because we don't have time on this thing. Like we already have. We have all the time. I don't care. I don't care. People are watching this. You want to hear what I have to say, right? Because I've seen the feedback. You want to hear what I have to say. So I'm in college. I'm getting wasted. No, I'm not even in college. I'm the night before college. The soccer team was trying to recruit me. And they got me shit-faced off SoCo and Lime. Super boozy memory right here. This is ultimate boozy memory. And I puked for seven days afterwards. And my parents said, you're not going there. Fast forward, I went there. But I cannot smell SoCo and Lime, and that's what this... Oh, all right, all right. Let's, let's put this one down. Nope. <laughs> no vomiting for you. All right, three out of ten. So, we don't want her vomiting. No. So, let's go back to the dry down. Mm -hmm. some, okay, so the first one is going to be... From the house of... This still smells like Bailey's and whiskey to me. It's too sweet. It's too sweet for me. Really? Yeah. I mean, this is definitely something you would wear, hundred percent. I fucking love this one. I know. I, I, know. I can one. tell. I can tell. This is Dave written hey, all over it. If you guys like this one, let me know. What is your significant other think about this one? Because I fucking love it. In winter time. This one is a beast. I don't want to want to like lick you like a lot. Mm. Lick you like a lollipop. Ah. Mm. No. I don't want I this. <laughs> no. So what are you giving this one out of 10? Okay, weirdo. That's all I want to do to this. Like, I feel like it's like, but I don't want to do that because I don't really want to taste it. Yeah, don't lick the perfume. Yeah, no. No, no don't be that but, person. No. So don't be that weird person like sitting uh, on Walgreens and like like licking things. Yeah. What, what what's your take on this one? Out of we'll just stay. We'll stay at a six. Okay, six we'll stay. Eight. It hasn't changed for me. Yeah. Smells right. the same. All right, next one is coming Too from sweet. the house of Amwaj. Okay, let me let's all take a sip before we. Cheers to that one. Okay. Okay. Hey, real quick. So this is a high-res exclusive. This is pretty hard to get. Amwaj just released this worldwide like a month ago. So if you guys have gotten your nose on this one, let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments. 
So. Girls, if you've smelt it on your man, let us also know your comments. True that. You know? Did that sound cool saying that? No. 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 Okay. Not even close. All right. We're going to forget you said that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hmm. I don't know if I like it as much as I initially liked it. Okay. He loves it. I can tell. This is a Dave, mm. another Dave fragrance mm -hmm. special. But. What are you getting? I, okay. Here's the thing. I feel like when you go sweet, like when you go a little bit sweet, you just fall in this like hole for me. Like. You want something that's going to be more daring. I just, I just feel like you just. You're there, and it's not bad. It smells really good, but like you're just not, you're not like uh, pushing the you're not, boundaries. You're not, you're not here. pushing an envelope a little bit. Yeah, yeah and yeah. I like to push the boundaries. You do. I like to be weird. I like to be out of the box. So, <laughs> I so what are we what are we thinking here out of ten? It went a little bit down for me. I feel yeah. like I gave this one an eight, but I'm gonna give it a seven. Oh boy. Yeah, it's not. I was okay. Alrighty. Hey, listen, you. That's what your snaz accepts. You know. That's what your. Uh, I just need you to excite me. I need you to excite me. That's what your schwaz picks up, right? Yeah. I'm like, that's just like. Hey, your schwaz is in my face for the last twenty minutes. Where's that from? Your schwaz has been in my face for the last twenty minutes. I know where's where that that's from. Come but on, where's I'm it from? Not really sure. Where's it from? It's a movie with, uh, I can see the guy. He's got yeah, like glasses. Steve, Steve, He's short. Steve, Steve Carell and uh, Ryan Gosling. What's that from? Oh. He gets divorced. What's that movie, with, guys? What's the movie with Ryan Gosling and Steve Carell? And, Ryan, and Steve Carell gets divorced. He finds him in a bar. Yeah. What's that movie called? Then he help, starts dating his daughter. Help us out again. What's that movie called? Just comment. Just, just put it down below. Yeah. All right. The next one's coming from the house of. Rosha. Yeah. We don't have any bias. No, we don't. It's just funny when you say it. Brody, you're fine. I'm going to call him after this video. I got a lot of good things to say about the new... Watch his his review on the new Roja because... It is actually really good. I just, I'm, yeah. I'm just going to put that out there. It just is, just wait really for it. It'll yeah. come. Um, mm. This is sweet too, so I'm sorry, Roja, because the dry down for me like just went a little bit down. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. It smells very similar to the last one. Not similar, but like it goes in that same direction. Nah. No? Mm -mm. What are you thinking here at a 10? I'm just going to go down like one, so I gave it an 8, right? Mm hmm So I'm going to give it a 7. Seven. It... You, it falls, the problem for me is it falls in this like same niche. Like I feel like it's, it falls in the same rut. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. you're not, I need you to step above. Do you think it's, do you think that it often times you, your nose and, and, and subjectively speaking, everyone's skin chemistry picks up different things, right? Yeah. So I might pick up something different than you might pick up, right? So you, do you think that you're the dry down for you, you pick up more vanilla or more benzoin? Or maybe more tonka bean, something that's more of the vanilla accords. I think the vanilla is really just getting me. I, you know, mm. too much. Okay, too much. So the next one's gonna be from the house of Nishane, and this one is pretty. It's very pretty. Oh shit! Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Ooh, I like. I. I really like this one. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, spice it up. Do something different. Mm -hmm. You know? Like, this This has got some edge. It's got some... some Chutzpah. If you guys haven't watched from the last uh, Booze and Marie's, you have to have some popcorn stuck in your throat. <laughs> Chutzpah. Chutzpah. No. This is like... Uh, yeah. I would wear this. You would wear this one. Yes. You would. Yeah. May I? No, not that. done. Okay. <laughs> no, I like that. I really like this one. Okay. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I'm just giving it right there. 9 out of 10. All yeah. right. I don't, what did I give it initially? 7. Yeah, so we really went up. Yeah, we did. Yeah, this is good. This is like... 
because it doesn't have that normal like feeling you know what i mean like it just it's got something else and i don't think there's a word for it mm -mm. that's how you know that's how you pick your mate mm -hmm. like there's pretty there's pretty people out there and there's a million of them so you just gotta find someone that like really has that little extra you know like because you could just keep looking for days but like you just you just have to find someone who who hits your hook spot yeah yeah all right the last one guys is gonna come <laughs> from the house of by killing this is and i'll put the description down below i already gave him face yeah me and this house are not friends but let's see what happens And I got a lot of hate on this. You do. Yeah. You really do. You're, uh, this is a very love fragrance, by the way, from this house. It's, it's, a, it's a cult classic, I would say. Okay, it got a little better. Don't love it. No. But it did get a little better. So what are you thinking so far? Hold on. I need a minute with this one. This is like, I want to like him because I don't want to date anymore, but like... It's fine. It doesn't, it, doesn't do, it doesn't do it for you. I gotta like work on it. So just give me a minute. You know, this is the one your mom tells you like, just give it some time. Like maybe you'll like it. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't about him. No. Um. I'm just telling you up, guys. I'm. No, I'm I think I gave this like the worst of the worst, but I'll go up. I think I gave this a three. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go yeah. up. I'll go. I'll give it a five. Five out of ten. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this. I just I don't know what it is about. It just doesn't. It's okay. No. So the yeah. Let's see here. So we have. So this one is a five out of ten. Yeah. Right? Okay. So. This so far the winner would be. Oh yeah, the house I like of this one. Nishane. This is Fan Your Flames. Yeah. So Fan Your Flames is the winner for tonight. You wanna spray it on? Well, I have the new Roshan. Oh yeah, the new Roshan. But this one <laughs> is from the house of Nishane Fan Your Flames. This one is a it's a from a it's the it's the Turkish house. This is all about the the boozy court. So actually you can see the notes here. It's coconut rum, tobacco, tonga bean, oak moss. I just have to say China Turks. Cedar wood. I mean I just gotta say, I'm not saying this in a racist way, but coming from someone who is raised and bred by Greek people. What are you saying here? I'm giving you props. Send and that props. doesn't happen from no. Greek people. No. This is an excellent, excellent house. I, they, they have, they, all the fragrances are extra de parfums, meaning it's the highest concentration of perfume oil or essential oils in a um, distillation you can have. And they're all extraordinary. Every single fragrance I've smelled from this house has been a love for me. So if you guys have not already got your nose in this I'm one, just, get yeah, your nose yeah, in this one. Yeah. If you have got your nose in this one, guys, let me know below, down below in the comments. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Is it man? Do you, does your partner love it or do they hate it? Do you disagree? Yeah. I mean. Yeah. So that's it for our review, guys. So Fanny Flames was the winner for tonight. I wasn't expecting that. I was actually expecting other winners. But hey, listen. It's not my game, it's her game, right? So thanks everyone for watching. I really appreciate it. It's been kind of a long video, but we really appreciate you guys staying tuned. Uh-oh. Eh, it's fine. Yeah. It's, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> COVID. it's COVID. What are you going to do? So what else are you doing? What are you, what are you, what are you doing? What are you building the shed? Right. <laughs> so as always, guys, stay safe and take care of each other, right? Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Hellcat! <laughs>